a shotgun spread it out offense featured by the Baldwin Indians. Kick
Comcast 57, exclusive local programming for Comcast subscribers. Ben, what happened to you? It's the 11th. Over the 35. That is Jack Householder again doing a nice job catching those short kickoffs for Baldwin. Yeah, initial contact there by Roth but uh, pretty much ran him over for an extra couple, two or three yards. Sophomore is householder. Jeez, how many times are we gonna say sophomore, freshman, junior? What about the band performances go, at halftime? Tell you what, Adrian King had the uh, Indian band all fired up, didn't she? Man, that, was that intricate enough for you for a high school band? Inside handoff, there's some popping going on out there as Sean Womack gets his first carry, I believe, of the night, opening up the second half. Games, we'll call it a short three, bringing up second and seven. Tenth and final Comcast High School football game of the week, and we have had one good schedule. A little bit of trouble there for Powell. He has a wide open receiver. There's a big gain. Hollingsworth is gone to the 20. Hollingsworth to the 10, the five. He's pulled down, but he gets in the end zone. Two plays. There's a flag down. Let's check the flag. Hollingsworth is in the end zone, but let's check as referee Ray Ribeiro is conferring, and he signals holding on Baldwin. So we've got an equalizer now. Paxson had a 95-yard kickoff return called back for an illegal block in the second quarter. Baldwin now has what would have been a 60-yard pass reception for a touchdown called back for a hold. Whew, Paxson dodges a bullet there. Wow. 60 yards on the money, too, and I tell you, it, it, a little one-on-one -on -one out there, Terry, and uh, made the man miss, and all Hollingsworth had to do was take it to the house. You're gonna see the call here in a second, but wow, unbelievable. Hollingsworth was making all the tackles early on defense and pops up on offense here in the second half. There's the official signal. He looked like Keenan Ivory Wayans, or one of those Wayans brothers. Yes, you're right, George. Boy, you're unloading tonight in the 10th and final game. Second and almost 20 now for Baldwin. Powell back looking, surveying the field. Nobody's open. Got some real contact. Got some real estate over there. And Powell with a big gain. Man, we had some mixing up going on. Big gain there by Powell. Boy, Charles, Charles Rawlings came over and slung him down, but you're right, Terry. Big, big gain right there, about 15 yards. Jeremy Huggins was going at it with a Baldwin receiver there. No flag was dropped either way, but I'd say those guys were going at it about 10 yards down the field. Third and seven now. Scrambling is Powell. Woo! He's got first down yardage across midfield. Inside the packs and 40. Philip Powell sparking his offense again. Boy, Brandon Campbell, uh, he just got run out of his shoes right there. Uh, 
and you saw the quarterback Powell right here. You'll see the move right here. Woo, hello. And then he's into Eagle territory and taking it to the defense here to start the third quarter. Powell looks quicker here in the second half. First and 10 for Baldwin in that. There's that new running back, Womack, for positive yardage. I mean, you talk about a change of momentum from the mid-second quarter on. At one point, it was 17-0 Paxson, and Baldwin looked like they were on their life support system. Paxson then took a kickoff return all the way back after his 17-8. That was called back for a penalty, and from that moment on, it's been all Indians. As we're early here in the third quarter. Oh, snap gets trouble. through Powell's hands. The ball still That's loose, trouble. ball on the ground at the 45. It Ooh. looks like Powell may have pounced on it. There was no sign of urgency for any of the Indians to get on that football. <laughs> no, you get it. No, you take it. <laughs> Nonetheless, Baldwin controls the football, and they have a long third down. Watch this now. Bang, off the face mask, and it's like, uh, okay, well, let's try to. Oh. Yeah, what, was, what was Powell doing there? Well, he's the one who got on it eventually, but I tell you, it kind of reminded me of that onside kick attempt. Four wide now, one running back. Third and 16 for Baldwin. Now they bring two running backs in on the hip of their quarterback. Powell looking, looking, looking. He's throwing a straight pattern. He's got a man wide open. He has a receiver fighting for extra yardage is Stanley Brown. Inside the 10-yard uh, line, the freshman with a big catch. Slightly underthrown by Powell, yet Brown made sure he made the catch. Brown, the big play receiver, averaging well over 20 yards per catch this year. Yeah, watch this. And really, if he uh, doesn't get so much air underneath it, he had to kind of wait for that ball, and the defense able to come back and make a play. Huggins right there. Uh, able to make the game saving or the touchdown saving tackle. First down, quarterback sweep around right in. Powell lowers his head. Touchdown. He is in the end zone, yes. Delayed call, but Powell finds the pylon just inside the pylon. And Baldwin continues this incredible comeback. Well, Terry, for a quarter and a half, the Indians struggled offensively and the senior quarterbacks finally just said, give it to me, coach, and let me do it. And he'll just take about four Eagle defenders on right there to get in the end zone for the touchdown. Three to night for him rushing, Terry. And goodness gracious, a two-point conversion here. And old Mo, like you said, has just really gone the Indians' way here. Uh-oh. Fumble snap there. Fumbled shotgun snap. That will thwart the two-point conversion attempt. Nonetheless, though, Baldwin, 22 unanswered points now. They lead Paxson 22-17 with 8.26 remaining in the third quarter. Man, Philip Powell is pulling a show here. This will now be Paxson's first possession trailing in the ballgame. Good look at Powell right there. and The big senior quarterback. He Definitely a, a, a quality athlete by the, for the Indians, a two-sport guy, plays basketball. That season will be kicking off here pretty soon. And boy, oh boy, he's, he's, he showed us some of his basketball moves here tonight as well on the football field. Weston Treadway will be deep for Paxson. Wow, what a huge third down completion by Powell to Brown for six. Looks like Higginbotham now will kick off. Is this, by my count, the third kickoff man? There's a bit of an onside kick. Kind of a hard onside kick. Recovered by Justin Ewing. So good field position for Pax. And again, their first possession, the Eagles' first possession trailing in this ball game. It was 17-0 Paxson. It is now 22-17 Baldwin in the lead. 
Well, 22 unanswered, Terry. Greg Johnson, a one-yard run for Baldwin. Philip Powell, a one-yard run, and then Powell moments ago, about a four-yard run. Baldwin has scored three consecutive times here. And there's a big hole, Treadway churning out yardage, flagged down. That had the appearance of maybe a quick little face mask as Treadway picked up well over 10 yards on the initial carry. Let's check the flag. We've got a personal foul face mask. Yes, Baldwin. I thought I saw Treadway's head pull back momentarily. And it looks like that'll be it's a, 15 a big yard one, yeah. Here's a look at it, Terry. Maybe we'll get a look at the face mask as well. Treadway just going to run hard, straight handoff. And, well, it was a bit of a Comes face up right mask here. There, Comes but, up right here. Right there. Oh, yeah, there you go. 54 got him. And Lentz did a good job, you know, recognizing and realizing that he had a, a uh, part of that face mask, but that's all it takes to get that call. And, I mean, you look at the march off now. Paxson. Really looking to answer now at the 26-yard line of Baldwin, first and 10. <laughs> Misdirection there to John Kennedy, and he is bent backwards now. Kyle Van Sickle, the first defender for Baldwin. Boy, would I be wrong in stating that this is just a great night for football? God, it's beautiful out. Good weather, I'll tell you that. We haven't had bad weather all season, Terry. That one week that I wasn't around, you had bad weather. Well, it, it, it the white rains game was a little it, bad. It of never course, really I was... rained during the game. Treadway bangs up the middle. I want to really thank uh, Bo Galloway, the athletic director here at Baldwin. He, and along with his entire staff, have really helped out our Comcast staff as we have set up shop here in Baldwin, Florida. Nice to get a couple schools on that maybe don't get a, a whole lot of media coverage or haven't over the years, but are obviously still in our Comcast viewing area. And we've had a, we've had a good uh, afternoon and evening here at Baldwin High School. Good hospitality. Fedway right up the middle, lowering his head. To bring up an interesting fourth down call now. Paxson has a field goal kicker in Edwards. It's got range from obviously we've seen from at least 35. Fourth and call it a full yard, maybe closer to two for Paxson. And it looks like they're going for it here. Yeah, they're right on the cusp of probably where they feel comfortable with their field goal kicker. And Terry, just a going back a second on, on the Baldwin hospitality, but they have a great athletic facility here as well. Big down. Oh. A lot of movement here at the line of scrimmage. Let's see which way that's called. Like Thomas Foraker was dancing around that line of scrimmage for Baldwin. That'll be the call. Offsides on the defense. Oh, that hurts. You don't even get a chance to defend that fourth down. Paxson looking much like their first drive of the ball game, really marching down field on the ground. Well, really, for a quarter and a half of this football game, it was all Eagles, and it really looked like the Indians maybe didn't even show up to play this final football game, but they have come back strong to take the lead, 22 unanswered points. First down, a first down can be acquired by Paxson as Kennedy tries to turn that left side. Or actually, that was Baskins there, number 28. 28 Baskins on the carry there. And 28 and 23 kind of blending together, George. Tenth game of the year, you know. Does that guy got a basketball on the crowd? I guess it's officially bad. The NBA's already opened up, right? Shaq playing down at Miami this year. Good looking crowd here tonight. 
Second and seven. Toss sweep. West looking for room. West has been kind of quiet now as he's brought down Householder, the initial defender in. Smith as well. Johan Smith cleans up Householder. <coughs> now we've got third and with that loss, we're calling all of nine yards now. Third and nine, four packs. They're now clearly in field goal range. Really the difference now, both teams have had three scoring drives, yet Paxson was forced on one of their three to kick a field goal. Again, misdirection to Baskins. He is pulled down for little or no gain. As Matt Huffstetler, 18 on the carry, or excuse me, on the tackle there. So now that will bring up fourth down, and it looks like the field goal kicker, yes, Edwards is on the field now with his kicking tee. As we are going under four minutes remaining in the third quarter, Paxson attempting a field goal, trailing 22 to 17. Just inside a 30-yarder, field goal kick is up. It is good again. We'll call it a 30-yard field goal, so Paxson has Stem the tide a little bit with a field goal. Well, that's a big kick, really, Terry, because it was a five-point lead. Now you're uh, a field within a field goal of winning the football game if, if it comes down to that. So uh, big field goal right there. 3.48 remaining in the third quarter. Things have tightened up even more. Baldwin leading 22-20. Well, and the Baldwin defense has been able to stiffen twice and force a couple of field goals, which when they got down 14-0 and held them to a field goal, really the last two opportunities for points for the Eagles have just been field goals. So really the difference in this football game right now. Smith and Green along with Brown were deep, but... Paxson decided to kick an onside, or I'll tell you what, they're kicking onside kicks left and right. Van Sickle jumps on that for Baldwin and gives Baldwin great starting field position. How many onsiders have we had? Three or four? And we're not even in the fourth quarter? Is that some kind of record? I think that's three right there. But Is that legal? Can you kick that many onside kicks before the fourth quarter? Well, head coach Perezo said he started the football game a week ago with one of those, so... Why not give it a shot? Inside Ooh. handoff, and I mean, Huggins. Greets Johnson there. Boy, Huggins is Ooh. a good-looking football player. He really is. Bring up. Second down and 12 from midfield for Baldwin. There's a good look at Huggins there. Does he look like a middle linebacker or what? He's ready to go. He's just, come on, bring it to me, big guy. Shotgun snap pulled back from the running back's belly. Powell barely gets it off. He's got a wide open receiver. Pascal makes a move. Oh, what a spin move. Inside the 10 yard line. Vey Pascal, Cortez on the tackle, but not before Pascal rumbles down inside the 10 yard line. Don't forget now, Paxson is fighting for a bowl berth. Now we'll get a look at it right here. They'll fake the inside handoff. Watch the pressure being put on by West. Just gets it off, complete across the middle at the 35 yard line and watch Pascal do the rest right. Oh. We won't get a look at it, but what a move he put on to get him down there in striking distance. Bubble. First and goal. Ball's on the ground. Let's watch that. Beanbags are on the ground as the referees, officials are trying to sort that out. Philip Powell, I think, fell on that for Baldwin, and he is that Powell getting up slowly? Check that now. 
That's the starting quarterback and the guy that's responsible really for this Baldwin comeback. He seems to be up and okay. Second and goal for Baldwin. Boy, that could have been a costly mistake right there. It was heads up by Powell to fight to get back on that football. We're under two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Baldwin leading by two and looking to extend that lead. Al up looking, scrambling. Oh, he gets met by West. He gets met again, pinballing inside the five-yard line. Gosh, if he wasn't hurting before this play, he definitely is after it. Man. That's his desire right there to try to get in the end zone because uh, when you're staring at five Eagle defenders and all you can do is put your head down and try to score, man, you, you just got to have desire and will to try to get in there. Important third down play, third and goal now. Backs in their defense has stiffened. Little option look, little option hand back. And that will go nowhere. Trey Ford, among others, in on that tackle. Well, they never did get him to the ground. He ran him out of bounds, but Womack, I don't know if he was expecting to actually get the football right there, Terrace. Nonetheless, fourth and goal for Baldwin as their offensive team is looking to the sideline. Head coach Doyle Hammock says we're going for it. And that's what they are doing. They are going for it. 103 remaining third quarter, leading by two. Powell looking for a receiver. There's a great oh! play, tipped yet caught. Wow, Hollinsworth on the deflection. Charles Rawlings does a great job, does everything right except deflecting it to the offensive man for the touchdown, Hollingsworth. Well, watch Pal, he'll just stand in there, pressure in his face, lofts one out there, Rawlings. Uh, oh, what a catch oh. right there by Hollingsworth to stay with it. And I tell you, the, the senior had the 60-yard touchdown catch that was brought back earlier in the third quarter, so it's good to see him get a touchdown catch right there. To the dismay of Charles Rawlings. Baldwin looking for a two point conversion. Powell pressured Powell. Unable to connect. He was looking for Stanley Brown. And I mean, Powell got belted. I think Coach Hammock is thinking that Calvin Wright may have got in there a little bit late. You see Powell now. That could be a developing story as Baldwin now has carved out an eight point lead 28 20 with 58 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Yeah, coach is giving an earful out there to the officials. He, he doesn't want to see his quarterback getting up slow like that. And boy, he just, he has stood in there tall all night, Powell has, and he really took a shot right there, Terry. Powell really responsible for this offensive resurgence. That man right there, his, I think his scrambling right and left, the, the designed quarterback sweeps and then creating and his scrambling out of a passing formation really opened up this defense for Paxson. Well, and I think what really opened it up was, if you re recall way back midway through the second quarter, they were able, on my guidance, on going out on the limb to be able to run the football, and that really opened things up for Powell. As, as I mentioned, I've taken credit for this resurgent Indian team here tonight, but uh, wow, big drive there. Short kickoff coming down to the 20. Across the 30, out across the 35. Calvin Wright on the return, brought down by Wenzel. Good look at that quarterback. Senior night, you know. Seniors are showing out now for Baldwin. You know who's been quiet? Aubrey West, I know he had the kickoff return called back, but he had a few moments in the first quarter, but you would, you would think Paxson would try and get that ball in his hands. Treadway trying to get around the corner, but he is brought down. Johan Smith on a nice tackle in open field. 
Josh Simmons coming off the field for Baldwin. Being replaced by Sean Womack. Boy, how this game has turned. Guys, have your job. You did that in high school, didn't you, George? Second and seven. Treadway for about three. Bringing up third and four. Householder, I believe, on the tackle there. Bunch of red jerseys in on that. I still can't get over how the packs and bands snuck up on us. As that will wrap up the third quarter. We'll step aside, regroup, and bring you the fourth quarter as Baldwin now leading Paxson 28-20. You're watching Comcast 57, exclusive local programming for Comcast subscribers. Third and three, four packs in first play, fourth quarter. Packs in trailing 28 to 20 here to the Baldwin Indians. Treadway gets around the corner. He gets into Baldwin territory and lowers his shoulder and closes in on the 40. Big gain there. Kyle Van Sickle on the tackle, but a big run by Treadway. Well, first down for Paxson. I would say huge run, Terry. Not only okay, did they huge pick run up the first Treadway. down, but they got into Indian territory and continue to move the football. I tell you, it, in looking at the numbers, obviously uh, the Indians can score points, and we know that they give up a lot, but they've had a couple of fourth quarter games that they let slip away, and uh, we'll see how they can respond right here. First down handoff to Treadway. He finds little running room, maybe carves out a yard. Let's catch the viewers up, though, that may not have caught this in the first half. Paxson is an independent. They are not in a district. They come into tonight's game with a four and five record, Yet they're ranked number two in the state in terms of independent high schools. With a win tonight, Paxson would go to five and five, 500 record, and they would be eligible to go to a independent bowl game. So they're playing for a bowl game. Baldwin, on the, on the other hand, is two and seven. They've lost a game in double overtime, and they've lost two games this year on the final play of the ball game. Yet Baldwin leads 28-20. There's a handoff, was that 28? Philip Baskin, those 28s and 23 is hard to distinguish, but only a minimal gain, if any, bringing up third and we'll call it seven, a long seven. Well, and a big, big third down, really, for this Indian ball club. Obviously, clock running here in the fourth quarter, and no better time to get a big stop than right here. There's Kennedy trying to work his way free. Breaks through an arm tackle. And that will be enough yardage for a first down as Kennedy was <coughs> fighting short of the first down, ran through a couple arm tackles. Well, just a 4-4 look on defense by the Indians right here. You're going to see uh, the, just a straight sweep. Kennedy going to work his way outside. A bunch of missed tackles right there by the Indians. And they can't come up big on third down as he's able to pick up the first down, keep the chains moving, and the Eagles' hopes alive. Trailing eight, but now inside the 30-yard line, moving here on the Indians. How about Big Ben Bigelow there getting out and leading the way? Misdirection to Aubrey West. He is brought down. Matt Huffstetler on the tackle. Good look at Huffstetler. You know, Terry, I'm really surprised that they have not tried to get the ball into Aubrey West's hands Same here. more. We, we saw him take the kickoff back for a touchdown. Even though it did get called back, you saw what kind of football player, what kind of athlete he is. I mean, basically, they, they list him on, on the roster as an athlete because he just he does 
run the ball, catches the ball, does it all with the ball. I'd think about a little end around to Aubrey West at some point. Treadway up the middle. Tell you one thing now, this packs an offensive line. Ewing and Suber, Irwin, Roth, Bigelow. They're starting to flex their muscle a little bit like they did in that first quarter, first quarter and a half. Cookie, Terry, that's, that's a big cookie. It. Justin Ewing. Justin Ewing. Cookie. Get in there and block somebody. Third and four. Long drive for Paxson to this point. Motion by Baskins. Treadway puts his head down. I'm going to take a look at this. Ray Ribeiro, the referee, signals first down, Paxson. So the drive continues. Well, Tyrone Treadway is a good looking running back for the Paxson Eagles. All night long, he's been there for them, and none bigger than that, a big carry to keep this drive alive. Big 69, Mike Crawford comes in to give more beef to that Baldwin defensive line as they're being pushed around right now. Pass attempted, flags all over the field as Rawlings was trying to hit Tread, Treadway. And that, I saw Treadway give kind of a who me signal, so let's wait and see which way this is called on, but Treadway wasn't happy. You know, George, kind of that signal you always give, who me? No, they're gonna call it though on Baldwin. Pass interference on Baldwin is the call. <clears throat> Maybe Treadway was saying he interfered me. Ooh, that's going to be a big penalty. So this long packs and drive continues. We are at the 8-16 mark of the fourth quarter. Final broadcast of the year. Hope you've enjoyed the Comcast High School football game of the week. Every week here, this 2004 high school football season. Still not ready to put the ball in play is Ray Ribeiro. So that'll be a first and goal situation from call it the seven. Baskins in motion. Treadway short of the goal line. I'll tell you one thing, when Paxson, when they click on offense, they just grind it out. Yeah, but don't be shocked if they put the ball in the air down here, Terry. Uh, they've been... Lot, they've been successful tonight with the play action, and you've got your stud receiver, Aubrey West, out there as one of your wide receivers, your only wide receiver. Second and goal for the Eagles. Fake flag down as Rawlings is pulled down. Hollingsworth in on the tackle. Or actually, that was Smith, number two, not number three, Smith. Let's check this flag. We had pretty much a penalty-free first quarter and a half, but they've started coming out pretty rapidly. Well, this one's going to hurt, but I tell you, Terry, Johan Smith has come to play here tonight. I, he is a guy that has been all over the football field for this defense, and when they need a big play, we've been calling his name tonight. Second and goal now from the 18 as the Baldwin defense tries to get the Baldwin crowd in the ball game. would think Paxson would have to think a pass here, yet they go a power sweep to Kennedy. He's got yardage. What do I know? Kennedy bursts into the end zone on second and goal from the 18. Now the question is, with 7.07 remaining in the ball game, Paxson trailing by two. Paxson is not a quick score team. 
in terms of they like to grind it out. Well, you just watch. And they go 18 after about 13 plays, though. Straight toss sweep, got a kick out blocked by Treadway, and did the work himself down the so, field. Right. So my thought is, and it looks like Paxson's thinking the same way. They're going for two because whatever time Baldwin runs off the clock, there's 7.07 remaining. Baldwin is in the lead by two. Paxson is a slow, grinded out offensive team. They may be thinking, you know what? We might have to go for two to tie this thing up in case we don't see the ball or we've got a long way to go with a slow offense as there is a crushing illegal procedure penalty. Was well, that Watson? Well, the problem, Terry, you saw how quick they ran up to the line of scrimmage because they didn't have a lot of time to get that play off. It took them too long to get the two-point play called and I must have thought they were going to go on the first count. And uh, that is not what happened. But, uh, boy, on that touchdown run, really, what a huge run by John Kennedy. Two big runs on that drive by John Kennedy. And overcoming a big penalty. Paxson going for two, trailing by two. 7.07 remaining in the fourth quarter. Saw sweep. West is in the end zone yet. We're going to check the flag. West is dejected. He's thinking the penalty's on his team. Holding. Paxson dejectedly walking backward now. Holding, that's a big one. That is a big one. Boy, it seems like every time West gets in the end zone, a flag comes out. As now, of course, this is a two-point conversion, so Paxson now certainly will have to go for it again. Well, really, one point here doesn't do you any good. I mean, you, you pick up one point, and you're still a point sure. down. So what's the sense of being two or one? Your field goal, you're still going to need. So um, I guess you got to go for it. But boy, that's a costly one right there, because you saw him get in the end zone. Well, right you have to go for it, because you're going to be about 90 yards away after they mark off this penalty. Well, they just scored from 18 yards I guess. out. So. Well, they're at the 15. I mean, you could theoretically try a long extra point. Like you said, why not throw it in the end zone? One point could be two and tie this thing. Under center is Rawlings. Dropping back, looking for Watson. Now he changes direction. He's looking for a block. Oh. He gets it. West, he cuts inside. He's got out it. of goal line. Are you kidding it. me? Oh. Are you <laughs> kidding me? At this rate, Paxson should penalize themselves every offensive snap. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What kind of moves? You're going to see it right here. Just going to fake, looking for something down the field. Nothing doing. Now he's going to just look for some blocks. Still going to look down the field before he decides to tuck it and run. Look at West. Rollins going to just duck his head and go. Oh, let me get in between three defenders for the two. And the tie. Are you, are you serious? I mean, Paxson seems to have their best offensive play after a penalty. And if you join us late, that 28-28 is no lie. It's it's been all that and then some. And if you if you if you recall, 10 weeks ago we went to four overtimes, and this one's got the makings of that, does it not, Terry Norvell? George, I'm too old for that. <laughs> Smith, Brown, and Green back to receive the kickoff. Arthur Tyer ready to put his foot into it for packs, and we're deadlocked at 28, 7.07 remaining in the fourth quarter. There's a line drive knuckleball hitting the ground. Across the 20, 25, out across the 30, still moving. Is Eric Green on the return? Patrick. Breesland on the tackle for Paxson. What about Paxson? Goal to go from the 18, run it in. Goal to go from the 15, run it in. Both plays after a penalty. That may have been the toughest eight points they scored all season. Good <laughs> Lord. What a game. And here comes that other guy. Philip Powell, it looks like Baldwin wants a timeout. That had to be a personnel situation, I believe. Man, oh man, oh man. 
This game was 17 nothing packs and it's now 20 at all. You kidding me? The last home game here at Baldwin of the season, they just announced one dollar hamburgers and hot dogs. Clearing it out, George. They're clearing it out of the concession stand. I think I heard they're bringing some food up for us, Terry. Oh, that'd be terrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> and a little sweet cake or something, huh, Georgie? Well, with seven minutes to play, I'm starting to get a little hungry. That Bono's is about working Bono's his way out of the system. Bono's took good care of us. Yeah, they did. And I wish you hadn't have said that, George. <laughs> Here's a look at the Baldwin home crowd. This community really supports their school. <clears throat> Great facility here. Everything's real tight and close by. Nice field house. First down for the Indians. Inside handoff for about four, maybe five. I call it about four. Well, at this point, Terry, it's which team flinches, you know? You know that game? Crowley on the carry. That game you used to play when you used to punch your buddy in the arm, whoever flinched first lost. Be nice, George. Well, I'm just saying, this is a smash mouth football game. Both offenses got it going here. Bit of a blitz there now by Paxton, and they will snow under Powell. Let's give initial credit to Brandon Campbell and friends as Powell is taken down. Perkins as well, and there about four or five Eagles converge for the sack. Well, I think you'll see it here. I'm not so sure that Perkins wasn't the first guy to get there. No, 25, but oh, a host of guys in on that play. And Brandon Campbell, Terry. <laughs> oh, but maybe there's room out there on that limb for you. Third and 17 now. Baldwin needing to pick up some yardage. Oh. Pressure is foul, but oh. he is escaping. Caught by the jersey. Drugged down by the jersey. Ooh. Trey Ford just holds on because you know Powell is dangerous. They'll well, bring up fourth and 14 from their own 30. He picked up five there, Terry, but I tell you, he was Ooh. a step away from going and picking up some big yardage because the Eagles are bringing the house every down now. Charles Rawlings back for Paxson. And Philip Powell into the punt, punting it away from Rawlings, looking for a roll when he gets one. Oh, that was a tough, tough call there. Good roll, but tough call by Rawlings. He didn't want to mishandle that bounding punt, but it cost his team another six or seven yards. He but thought about Paxson it. The Paxson defense did their job with 5.07 remaining. The Paxson defense turns the ball over to their offense. At the Pex in 31, all tied at 28. Mm. Rawlings ready to take the snap. Kennedy in motion, inside handoff to Treadway. Treadway finds five, maybe six yards. Good gain on first down, clock is moving. Well, I tell you, you think all the way back to the first quarter in the initial drive by this Eagles team, they took it right down the field, used a lot of clock in that first quarter to get their initial points, and they would be more than happy to put a drive like that together right now, use up all this clock, go down and put the some points on the board and win this football game. And also don't forget now, as we're at the 430 mark and counting in the fourth quarter, Anthony Edwards has shown he can convert a field goal from 35, so Paxton doesn't necessarily need the end zone. Big defensive stop there on second down as Treadway is thrown back, bringing up a key third down, third and a long three. While we've got a moment, let me thank the entire Comcast production crew that comes out every week and, and sets up and bangs out these terrific broadcasts headed by Kobe Douglas, but all the camera crew and the graphics and audio and Done a great job all week and all year, actually, on this season. Ten games we've brought to you. I hope you've enjoyed them. They sure make uh, make me sound good, and you look good, George. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. Good stuff. Big third down now. Kennedy juking and jiving his way to a first down right at the 45 of Paxson. So continued life for the Eagle offense. Oh, boy, he looks... Looks like, is that Kennedy? Kennedy's slow to get up. 
3.39 remaining in the ball game. Well, let's see if we can get a look at it right here. Just kind of a straight dive play into the heart of the defense. And it looked like right there he just started dragging his leg. He didn't get hit before he went down. And he did, I saw him, he grabbed his knee as the trainers were coming out. And uh, hopefully he's okay. Kennedy was uh, vying for the MVP of this football game as he's had a couple of big runs on the last drive and then that one right there on third down conversions for first downs. Your scoring got started in the first quarter. Rawlings, a 25-yard touchdown pass to Watson. Paxson led 7-0 at that point. In the second quarter, Rawlings, a one-yard touchdown run. Paxson led at the 9-27 mark of the second quarter, 14-0. Paxson again, a 35-yard field goal by Anthony Edwards. 5-0-2 remaining in the first half. They led, they being Paxson, 17-0. Baldwin got on the board on a Greg Johnson one-yard touchdown run. 239 remaining, 17 to 8. We'll take a break and I'll finish the recap of our scoring as we've got a continued delay here as the medical staff is tending to Kennedy. 339 remaining, Paxson and Baldwin locked up at 28. You're watching Comcast 57. Exclusive local programming for Comcast subscribers. There we go. Okay, Kennedy was helped off the field as his facts and offense is now on the move again. First and 10 from there, 45. Hand off to West. West has room. He turns a corner inside Baldwin territory. Run out of bounds about the 32. First down, Paxson. Let me finish the scoring as we left off. We were at 17-8 after Greg Johnson scored in the second quarter for Baldwin with 2.39 remaining. Baldwin scored again on a Phillip Powell one-yard touchdown run with 47 seconds remaining. Another two-point conversion brought us to 17-16 Paxson. Powell four-yard run put Pax, uh, Baldwin ahead in the third quarter. Paxson answered with a 30-yard field goal. It was 22-20 at that point in the third quarter. Baldwin, Baldwin scores again. Powell to Hollingsworth, the four-yard catch. 28-20 at that point. Paxson scored with 7.07 in the fourth quarter. Converted the two-point conversion. That's where we're at. 28 all. As you see, Treadway with a big gainer right up the middle. Treadway fights and falls into the end zone. This game just keeps getting better. 3.01 remaining in the third, or excuse me, fourth quarter. And Paxson has gone ahead on a 32-yard touchdown run. Oh, just a quick hitter right up the middle. You watch Treadway break an arm tackle there. Now he's going to outrun the defense. Actually, he's going to have to run through one of the defenders and then diving into the end zone in the arms of an Indian, but too little, too late. Eric Green is the one who had the shot at him, and then he outran Kyle Wenzel to the end zone. Edwards on for the extra point. Paxson will have to take a timeout, another personnel issue. And I guess the Paxson offense heard me say they score kind of slow. They got their giddy up on there and scored and left three minutes and one second left. Well, I think coach over there is saying, we maybe we score too quick, especially with a quarterback like Powell on the opposite sideline who has shown he can throw the football and run it. He's done it all tonight for the Indians. So now he's gonna have his work cut out for him. And all of a sudden, uh, it was a 22 unanswered points by the Indians. And now the Eagles have made their way back into this thing. And you couldn't ask for a better game to end this football season for Comcast. There's that Pax and Band. They'll sneak up on you now, won't they? Somehow they got up into those stands <laughs> over there. And you wonder if Paxson should go for two because you know Baldwin's going for two if they score. They never kick an extra point. Edwards is up, and he is true. 35-28, Paxson now in the lead again. Woo! Well, let me just tell you what you did, Terry. You have set the scene because now the Indians will go down and score, and it's going to come down to a two-point conversion. I'm going out on that limb, and I'm going to make that prediction. It's my limb. <laughs> I've been on that limb all night long, Terry. I you can live on a limb. Battled that Baldwin team all the way back to this point of the football game, and I'm taking the credit. George, you can't play favorites. 
I never said I was playing favorites. I'm just out on a limb today. I'm about ready to call George Washington in on you. <laughs> Cut down the cherry tree. Wow, 35-28, 301 remaining, we think, in the ball game. Fourth quarter here. Paxson leading, about to kick off to the home team, the Baldwin Indians. Well, it's senior night. Let's see if one of those seniors can rise up here for the Indians. Kick is handled by Green. He is running into his own man and goes down, really loses some yardage at the end. Scott Irving credited with the kick coverage tackle there. Doyle Hammock coaching him up on that sideline. It's like 80 yards separating Baldwin here from a possible tie. Paxson trying to defend a final assault by Baldwin and go to a bowl game. Low snap handled by Powell. There's that inside screen that has been good to Paxson, but Huggins snuffed that out. Boy, Huggins has been there all night long when they needed a play on defense, and that one would have went for a long way had he not been there to make the tackle. Yeah, he's out. Second and seven for Baldwin. Pressure blitz coming. Powell unloads it. It will be intercepted by West. West has room. West, the 40, the 35, tripped at the 31. Paxson will take over. As West was pressured, he tried to throw it up and give his receiver a chance, but he could not step fully into the pass, and it came up short. Aubrey West, an athlete, you're going to see it right here. A lot of pressure in the face right there by Calvin Wright. Really just buried the quarterback, Powell, but you'll see Aubrey West with the interception, and now some elusive moves to get it down around the 30-yard line before he slips and falls. But, boy, that could just about put the nail in the coffin tonight. That was exactly what happened. Wright prevented Powell from stepping into the throw. As Paxson keeps it on the ground, you would expect nothing but running plays. Treadway gaining positive yardage. I'm sure Doug Perizzo and the Paxson staff have instructed his running back stay in bounds. 153 remaining as Baldwin stops the clock, trailing by a touchdown. Well, and Treadway had the big touchdown run, but I tell you, the kid that really kept it going here in the second half for the Eagles was Kennedy. We saw him go off the game, uh, out of the game on that last drive with a knee injury, and then Treadway was able to take the 32-yard touchdown score. But, uh, you know, you can't say enough for Kennedy, who kept a, a couple of long th uh, third down drives and the long third down 18-yard touchdown score that he had uh, this that, that tied the football game. And you can't say enough for what Kennedy did here to spark this Eagles here in the second. How is Baldwin 2-7? and seven? I know they got a young defense, but no, God, we talked about Lord. it. Their last six games, they had scored 127 points, and they put another 28 up here tonight. So good gracious. Second and a long four for Paxson. Baldwin desperate to get the football back. Treadway lowers his head with two arms around that ball. Another timeout by Baldwin. By my count, that should be their third and final. Well, and it's going to be a huge third down for the Indians. Uh, if they have any life left in them, they're going to have to make a stop here. Otherwise, this game will be all but over. Yeah, what will happen here, in my opinion, 
if Paxson does not pick up the first down, I don't think they would risk a long field goal. I think they would go for it. And if Baldwin can come up with two plays with the change of possession, the clock would stop. They'd have a minute or so, maybe just under. Good look at the Baldwin cheerleaders trying to bring a victory home, cheer it on somehow, some way. Third and three now for Paxson. Do you throw here, Terry? Catch Absolutely not. George, what are you thinking? Are you out on that limb again? Treadway trying to turn the corner. He's got first down yardage. He's house. still going. He was aware that he got the first down, so going out of bounds was really insignificant now. Doing the math now, you could probably go victory formation, George. Well, Tyrone Treadway is a good-looking junior running back here for the Paxson Eagles, and if he is any indication as to what they have over on that sideline, uh, Coach Parizzo has got him heading in the right direction, that's for sure. And it looks like heading to a bowl game. 137 as the clock stops on the out of bounds. Well, and if they can get that done, they, they talked about playing that game out at Fletcher, uh, and uh, they would they would more than likely get the winner uh, if Joe E. Newsom, who is the number one team in that uh, that Laz Index wins tonight, they would get them for the championship of the, the, the whole kitten caboodle, I guess you would call it, the independent bowl. Independent football, yes. Otherwise, they may get Father Lopez, uh, depending on what happens tonight. Clock is now running, approaching one minute to go, so clear victory formation for Paxson. There's that sneaky band. Well, Terry, and, and, and I, I go back to uh, what we talked about earlier. We had asked Coach, you know, how... And in, in basically a sentence, how would you describe your football team? And this is Paxson's coach, of course, and he said heart. These kids have a lot of heart, and it took heart tonight to get a win. Uh, they're down eight, really with about seven minutes to play in the fourth quarter, and they put up two big touchdowns, and really they are just uh, a minute away. Offside, the call on Baldwin as a nose tackle took a shot that he could time it right. Maybe shake the ball loose here as Baldwin is out of timeout. What a hard fought football game that appears to be going in Paxson's favor as the clock is wound again now. Well, Terry, I've enjoyed it this year. Yeah, it's been a good 10 game season. I hope you've enjoyed the Comcast High School football game of the week. 10 straight weeks here on Comcast. Certainly have enjoyed it bring it to you. We'll probably see you very soon on a hardwood floor somewhere in and around the Jacksonville area. Looking forward to that too. Good basketball season last year. Look forward to this as you see Man, we've seen the some victorious good football this Paxson year. crowd now saluting their Warriors from the hey, west side. Five and five Terry right now, you know, and, and, and honestly uh, a season that got off to a rough start. A couple of big losses to Union County 57 to 6 and Denise 55 nothing um, and really uh, a 20 to 7 loss to Newberry before they, they uh, turned the ship around a little bit. That will do it. The clock has hit triple zero. So Paxson earns a hard fought 35 28 win over the Baldwin Indians. And that'll wrap up our 10 game season this year. This 2004 season of high school football. I hope you've enjoyed it here on Comcast as you see the teams shaking hands. And for a lot of the seniors in the red jerseys, this will be their final competitive football game. So that'll wrap it up again for the entire Comcast production crew and my broadcast partner, George Sorensen. I'm Terry Norvell. I hope you enjoyed this season of high school football on Comcast.
You're watching Comcast.